Good evening. Shakespeare's Hamlet in the park. This is Act 1, Scene 4. I'm, I will be playing four parts, but I won't really identify them. Hamlet speaks first. The air bites shrewdly. It is very cold. It is a nipping and an eager air. What hour now? I think it lacks of twelve. No, it is struck. Indeed, I, I heard it not. It then draws near the season wherein the spirit held his want to walk. A flourish of trumpets and two pieces go off within. What does this mean? The king doth wake tonight and takes his rouse, keeps wassail and the swaggering upspring reels. And as he drains his drafts of Rhenish down, the kettle drum and trumpet thus bray out the triumph of his pledge. Is it a custom? I merriest. But to my mind, though I'm native here and to the manner born, it is a custom more honored in the breach than the observance. This heavy-headed revel, east and west, makes us traduced and taxed of other nations. They cleep as drunkards, and with swinish phrase, soil our addition, and indeed it takes from our achievements, though performed at height. The pith and marrow of our attribute. So, oft it chances, in particular men, that for some vicious mole, of nature in them, as in their birth, wherein they are not guilty, since nature cannot choose his origin, by their overgrowth of some complexion, off breaking down the pales and forts of reason, or by some habit that too much or leavens the form of plaza of manners, that these men, carrying, I say, the stamp of one defect, being nature's livery, or fortune's star. His virtues else, be they as pure as grace, as infinite as man may undergo, shall in the general censure take corruption from that particular fault. The dram of evil doth all the noble substance often doubt to his own scandal. The ghost enters. Look, my lord, it comes. Angels and ministers of grace, defend us. Be thou a spirit of health or goblin damned. Bring with thee airs from heaven or blast from hell. Be thy intents, wicked or charitable. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I shall speak to thee. I'll call thee Hamlet, King, Father, Royal Dane. Oh, answer me. Let me not burst in ignorance, but tell why thy canonized bones, pursed in death, have burst their cerements. Why the sulpicure, wherein we saw thee quietly in nerd, hath oped his ponderous and marble jaws to cast thee up again? What may this mean, that thou, dead corpse, again in complete steel, revisits thus the glimpses of the moon? And we fools of nature, so horridly to shake our disposition with thoughts beyond the reaches of our souls. Say, why is this? Wherefore? What should we do? The ghost beckons Hamlet. It beckons you to go away with it, as if it's some impartment to desire to you alone 
look with what courteous action it wafts you to a more removed ground, but do not go with it, no, by no means. It will not speak, then I will follow it. Do not, my lord. Why? What should be the fear? I do not set my life at a pin's fee, and for my soul, what can it do to that? Being a thing immortal as itself, it weighs me forth again, I'll follow it. What if it tempt you toward the flood, my lord, or to the dreaded summit of the cliff that beetles over his base into the sea, and there assume a more horrible form which might deprive your sovereignty of reason and draw you into madness? Think of it. The very place puts toys of desperation without more motive into every brain that looks so many fathoms to the sea and hears it roar beneath. It twasts me still. Go on, I'll follow thee. You shall not, my lord. Hold off your hands. Be ruled, you shall not. My fate cries out and makes each petty artery in this body as hardy as the Nemean lion's nerve. Still am I called. Unhand me, gentlemen. By heaven, I'll make a ghost of him that lets me. I say, away. Go on. I'll follow thee. The ghost in Hamlet exit. He waxes desperate with imagination. Let's follow. Tis not fit thus to obey. Have after. To what issue will this come? Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Heaven will direct it. Nay, let's follow him. Exeunt. That is the complete scene four of Act One. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I love it.